It wasn't that hard, really. I mean, uh, I went down to Washington. I testified in front of Congress. Then the, the in November uh, of uh, November, I think it was November second of nineteen fifty nine, he came down to uh, testify and confess. It wasn't like it's shown in the movie, incidentally. I didn't have to sneak between anybody's legs to, to get into the hearing room. I had a pass, of course. I was a guest there. And uh, he came in. He came with a lawyer named Carl Rubino, I remember. And uh, he read a long statement. And he just didn't pick himself up like in the movie and walk out. Uh, they uh, asked him questions for like a half hour, but all the enconiums that were heaped upon him, all the praise and everything, were, were actual quotations that were taken from the record. Stuff like, this is the most soul-searching confession I've ever heard in my life, and stuff like this. I, I sat there absolutely flabbergasted that I couldn't believe that these these tribunes of the people were actually saying stuff like this after the man confessed to having been part of the fraud, you know. It took him three years to finally get around to confessing it, you know, because, well, I shouldn't say three years, because actually this, from the time of the, uh, the district attorney took this, it was over a year, and during this whole year's period, he kept insisting, well, maybe he was giving the answers, but I wasn't. And he did appear in front of the grand jury. I've seen, you know, films of it and so forth. I didn't see, you know, you see a picture of him coming out at one Hogan place out of the grand jury, out of the district attorney's office. But um, I knew ultimately, you know, the truth went out, and that's what happened. My relatives uh, sort of uh, for a little while treated me like a pariah, you know, that I had... Uh, given the family a bad name or something like that. But uh, it's so lovely. I mean, it's the way it was. Well, they started to spread rumors, you know, that, uh, that uh, you know, I had become unhinged or whatever because of the program or... Uh, this scene shown in the movie is completely false, though. I never uh, went to a psychiatrist uh, five days a week. Uh, th this, is, this is all Hollywood. I mean, this is the screenwriter. I did go to a psychiatrist for a short time after the program, and, uh, and that was it. Uh, but uh, nothing more than that, maybe once every week or two. I had nothing to hide. I mean, uh, I, I, but uh, once the, uh, the, for many years though, you know, I didn't want to give my story out. And as a matter of fact, uh, not until 1990, I was contacted by this Julian Crane and this documentary man. I said to uh, Ethel, my wife, uh, I'm tired, you know, of uh, being in the shadows, you know. Uh, next person who calls gets the story. And uh, I just had a change of heart back around 1990. And this Julian Crane, who did the documentary Quiz Show Scandal, which led to the movie, called. And I gave him my story. So it, it was a period of a, maybe... Uh, 20-something years in between uh, me being on the show and me finally deciding and finally deciding to give the story.